So I made some really difficult decisions, but one of the hardest that I continually make on a daily basis now is when I'm trying to find a good pair of jeans. It's simply impossible. I'd say the last pair that I had that really didn't have me filled with despair and disdain and everything else was walking into Miss Sutcliffe's sixth grade class in my best and finest Walmart Jordache jeans, feeling like there was really nothing that could stop me and it's just been a downhill spiral since then in terms of denim and other ways. And it's crazy because I really think I'm not asking for that much. I'll tell you, this is what I want. I just want a pair of jeans that fit me well. I want them to hit me between here and here and here and here. Life is short. Time is money. Money is pasta. Pasta is power. And I just don't have time to fold my jeans more than once. If it's a blue jean, it has to be between Pantone Reflex Blue and whatever the 281 blue color is. If it's a light jean, sky is the limit. No stone wash allowed. We're just not doing that anymore. If it has slight fringe, I guess I can deal with that. I really prefer something that's a little more clean. But if you're doing that, it's distressed, it's not destroyed. So don't put holes in my jeans. Obviously, gold stitching over white, because what is this? But if we're doing that, it's not a rodeo. Keep it subtle, keep it classy. I mean, that's basically it. Straight leg, but not too boxy. Seven inches on the inseam. I think that's just standard, if you ask me, really. That's what I'm looking for. boring stuff right now. Good question. Do you guys campaign. worry about how in your life you just say boring stuff all the time? Never ever say anything boring. <laughs> you almost exclusively wear unique clothes. Yeah, I think they just have really captured my my sensibilities and I can match my clothes, which is very important to me as a person who likes clothes and Things matching them. Clean. Tastes like pink champagne. That's what it does. Okay, so I took the trolley downtown, and it was the smelliest trolley I've ever been on in my life. And like, I've been in a lot of smelly septa situations. The thing about the smelly trolley is you can't decide whether you should breathe in your nose and smell it or breathe through your mouth and eat it. I don't know which is more horrible, ingesting a smell or just smelling a smell. Um, both are horrible. Anyway, I really don't that I don't still smell like that trolley, um, although I wouldn't be surprised if I smelled like that trolley for the rest of my life. What's also weird is that no one else on the trolley even made any kind of reaction at all about it, which is weird because I think on the bus that we would have all been talking about how much it stank like right away. And I think that buses are just crustier than trolleys and more communal and the trolley crowd is like kind of lame. Hi, it's me. So semi-recently, I discovered this new thing in my car that's not really new. By semi-recently, I mean maybe like a year ago, but I just now thought about it. So if I pull this thing down, the console of the back seats, and then I kind of have to get back there to do this. This is really awkward. So there's this thing here, and I pull that down, and I can see straight through to my trunk. 
Let's see if you can see what's back there. That's a tennis racket and there's some other stuff back there. And yeah, so this is the little hole that goes into my trunk. And I guess if I ever needed to like move some lumber, I could push it through here because my seats do not fold back. So this has been that, end of vlog, bye. Hello and welcome to the funny table where everything's funny. Let's get started. One of my biggest pet peeves is when people have a giant pile of crumpled cash in their wallet and then when they go to the store, they take out just a giant pile of crumpled cash and hand it to whomever's ringing them up. In my opinion, which is correct, if you have cash in your wallet, which also you should at all times, you should have each bill facing the same direction, completely unwrinkled, pressed flat, perhaps folded horizontally down the middle between two fingers and creased. <laughs> um, and then when you get to the cash register, you don't horribly embarrass yourself. Uh, if you are one of the people with a giant pile of crumpled cash in your wallet, you should be ashamed. Why are environmentally friendly clothes so awkward? You can look good and save the world. Jesus said Rihanna do it. <laughs> so what's the deal with microwaves? Do they secretly give you cancer and kill you or are they just really convenient? When I was in high school, I dated a boy whose father thought that they gave you cancer and so they were not allowed to have microwaves in the house. It was a big point of contention between the two of them. Ultimately, his father conceded and allowed him to have the microwave, but it was only allowed to be as far as the porch. I like to think about who's in charge of deciding what to put in the aisles at grocery stores, and then I also like to think about what Beyonce puts on her oatmeal in the morning. Nothing's funny. Life isn't funny. So picture this. I am in Hackettstown, New Jersey. I am 17. I go to my local Hot Topic to pick up a Taking Back Sunday shirt because a boy I like is wearing one and then I proceed to wear it every time I know we have a class together. Later, I do the same thing with someone else and nothing happens. Wow, that was funny. We're at Napoleon and we're going to interview Lydia Rosenberg. Action. Are you ready now? <laughs> yes. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Welcome to Around the Town. We're at Lydia Rosenberg's show. 
There's a lot of lemons here. Hi, Lydia. Hi. What's up? Hey, everybody. Um, so, this is Lydia's art show. Can you just tell us what it's called? Yeah, this show is called The, the Complete Subject. I almost forgot. So, do you think art is um, good or bad for the world? Mm. Uh, I think that art is... Yeah, I think that some art has like really magical transformative powers for affecting positively the universe, yes. Yeah. Do you have any good jokes? Our show's like mostly funny and we like keep it really Sorry. funny. So if you have anything funny to say, we'd appreciate it. Um, I'm really trying to think about a joke. Well, you know, that might come naturally later. I can only think of one I don't want to tell on camera. I don't know about paint. I think I like Miro. <laughs> um, I don't want to escape because I love life. <laughs> because I can't hear, but then it, I hear eventually. Noble Street between 11th and 12th. I think it's on Ridge and 10th. Yeah, I'm going to walk over there right now. I'm not there, but I'm, I'm two minutes away. Okay, see you soon. <laughs> Bye. I'm recording you now. And you're being funny. What's up with everyone going to New York as like a fun thing to do? It's not fun there. It's really fun enough. Are you ready to dance to the Bee Gees? Dance to the Bee Gees. I'm turning it up as far as it will go. Be Get up. We're recording. I feel like it. I need to take my shoes off. I don't care if I'm going to get out my house shoes. Do whatever you want me to do.